If you've been following the channel, you know that I recently purchased a Chinese mini excavator from an auction. I won that bid and we went to the auction lot and picked up this piece of equipment. We made the long journey back home and once we actually got this piece of equipment back to the house, we were able to look at it more closely. And to be honest with you, I'm really surprised that people can get pieces of equipment like this at these costs. Now, after looking it over, we did change the engine oil and hydraulic fluid, and I then put it through some very minor tests. After doing so, I realized I really want to change the controls from ISO to ASE configuration, and I do like it a little bit better. But as promised, there's nothing major wrong with the machine, so I did end up ordering this hydraulic thumb. And now all we have to do is wait, wait, wait. Just got home, it looks like the package has arrived. Okay, it took longer to get here than what I was expecting, but the GT Thumb has arrived. That's right, I said GT Thumb. GT Thumb is the um, model of this particular thumb that I ordered. The manufacturer, according to this listing, is uh, MMS. Now, to me, this looks just like those Typhon brands uh, that have various model numbers behind it. Uh, but I went with the GT Thumb for this reason. Uh, and I found this listing on eBay, by the way, and I'm going to screen share this. But um, this one had a very specific measurement sheet. And that made me feel a lot better knowing that, the, that I know what the specs are of this. And so I'll just kind of zoom in on the spec, the primary spec of concern, for me anyway, was uh, this 94 millimeters, that 3.7 inch span. This is where the hydraulic thumb mounts close to the bucket. And this is an area I just didn't want to modify. Okay, I wanted, to, I wanted it to be the correct thumb for this machine. And what I like about this listing is it specifically says one ton Chinese excavators. Um, and now additionally, there's some pictures in, uh, with this, but there's other specs. You know, this, uh, let's see here, the jaw, the actual full jaw length is almost 20 inches, 19.88 inches. Um, the inseam, if you will, the distance between the jaws is six inches. And uh, just specifically talking about the jaws, I, I kind of like them because they have a little bit of a sweeping curve to it, as well as that serrated edge. And the steel is three eighths inch uh, thick. Now, like all the other ones, this one comes with two lines, uh, two M14 lines, as well as the bolts needed to do the install. Now, what this didn't come with was the adapters needed, and that's a separate box. So let's go to the tailgate of the truck. And uh, if you notice on the tailgate of the truck right, right here, I've, the, I've got the box where the thumb uh, came in, GT thumb, and then there's another smaller box. Those are the two adapters that we need. And those are, uh, it's a double mail, and one side is the M16 uh, 1.5 thread uh, DIN, and then the other side is the DIN uh, M14 1.5 thread and that will uh, allow these M14 hoses to connect to that M14 side of the fitting, the adapter, and then the M16 side is going to thread into your original uh, hose that's on your machine if you've got a uh, 12 series. So um, we're going to unbox this. Now this comes in a cardboard box, similar to the other ones. I'm, I've seen some people, I guess, where they're in a wooden crate. I was actually kind of excited about getting a wooden crate. It just seems a little bit, you know, classier, but that's okay. Now there is a thin sheet of plywood that's on the top and the bottom. But nonetheless, I take that piece of plywood off. And, you know, the only thing that's in here is really the thumb 
uh, the associated bolts, the two hoses, the bracket, but that's it. There's no instructions or anything, but that's okay. This is pretty straightforward to install. And so I'm just going to kind of put this video in a little bit of a fast forward and narrate. Now there's no prescription, you know, there's no, uh, series of events necessarily when you're installing this. I don't think there's a wrong way to do it. Just make sure that you have all the hydraulic pressure, uh, out of the lines and that the, uh, the you know, the boom and bucket are supported, but, uh, otherwise, uh, go in whatever order you want to, as far as I'm concerned. Now I started with these two lines on the side because I was just curious about, does this fit onto the existing fittings that I have? And, um, I quickly find out that it does not. Uh, I did in fact need those adapters. So I'm, I'm glad I got them. Um, so this, the hydraulic line that's original with your equipment is probably like mine. It's an M16 uh, female is what we're going to end up with. So I'm going to remove the existing adapter. It's capped off. And once I have that existing ad adapter removed, uh, so what we should be left with is just that M16 female uh, end of the hose, the original hose. And then I'm going to take the adapter that I ordered for the hydraulic thumb and I'm going to thread in the M16 side. Uh, and once I get that threaded and tightened, uh, then at some point I'm going to, uh, thread on the M14, the hose that came with the hydraulic thumb. And I'm just going to knock out the hoses first. I want to make sure those are tight. Uh, and, and ready to accept this thumb before I even put on the thumb. That's just kind of the way I did it. But again, there's no wrong way. So once I get both sides done and I'm happy with the layout of, of the way the hoses are, are running and they're kind of uh, contoured similar to the boom. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a, I've got a 32 millimeter socket on a breaker bar and uh, that's going to be for the bolt head uh, of what's holding on the manual thumb. And then for the other side, I don't have a socket big enough. I'm, I'm unsure exactly what size this is, but it's bigger than a 32 and I just don't have any sockets bigger than that. But I'm using an adjustable wrench and you can, you can use two adjustable wrenches for that matter. If you don't have a socket like this, you can do this whole job with two adjustable wrenches actually. Um, so easy enough to do. This is literally, you only have to remove two bolts, you know, to get that manual thumb off. Okay, now that we have that manual thumb out of the way, it's time to install the GT thumb. And uh, the bolts that came with my kit are the exact same size as the bolts that were on my manual thumb. So I'm going to use the same tool, same socket. Um, but I'm going to pause the screen just for a second before I start attaching things. Uh, notice that the I've moved the cell, I've rotated the cylinder around where those hard lines are pointed toward the stick. Uh, because if you think about it, it just doesn't make sense for those hoses to be curved and in, in, in the path of the the stick swing or the bucket curl. It, it just, I don't know why it comes that way. And, and I've seen other videos where they came that way with other people, but I just rotated it around. It makes more sense for those hoses to be up above. Um, so I just wanted to point that out. So let's get started mounting this. And, and this is one of those where it's kind of handy to have an extra hand around. Uh, but if you don't, not a big deal. So I'm starting actually at that point where, uh, the point of most concern for me, and that was that 94 millimeter span. Uh, and sure enough, it fits. There is just a little bit of play actually. Uh, once I get this threaded on here, I'm going to discover that there is close to, uh, you know, four or five millimeters, um, maybe a quarter inch somewhere in that neighborhood of play. Uh, but I'm actually going to shim it later. Now, once I get that lower attachment threaded on, I'm going to move up to the L bracket. And uh, again, there's no instructions with this, but as, as long as you get this part right, you know, when you're installing that three hole L bracket, you're going to put a bolt in the top hole, bolt in the bottom hole, and then just make sure that the, the hole is uh, up that it would accept the other end of that actuator. And the rest of it's pretty self-explanatory. We're just going to get everything threaded on. And like I said, I'm going to use that same 32 millimeter socket as well as that adjustable wrench, get everything tightened down. And I forgot to mention this, but as far as the, the hydraulic hoses go and the, and the adapters, you're going to need a 17 millimeter, 19 millimeter and 22 millimeter 
those variety of wrenches or just an adjustable wrench and you can do it. Okay, now that we have this thing installed, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do some, some easy movements with this. I just want to get the air out of the lines and uh, as well as get a feel for the control to know how, how hard or how gentle do I need to be with it to work this thumb before I actually start grabbing things with it. Another thing that, that I want to show you, I'm actually going to um, kind of go to a different screen here. Um, I, I wasn't sure how this was going to work out. Um, if this was, if the thumb was up and the stick was back and the bucket was curled, like how close does this get to the boom? Is it going to end up uh, impacting the other hydraulic lines that are running down the side of the, the boom. And, and thankfully, good news, after doing these tests, the thumb in no way comes in contact. Uh, no matter how hard you try, it does not come in contact with the boom, nor does it come in contact with the boom cylinder. And I was really worried about that, but we are clear of, of that hazard. So all right, now that we have the air out of the lines and, and we've kind of done a little dry run, I've got an understanding of how this thing's gonna function. We're gonna go out and we're gonna test this thing out with some logs. Okay guys, so in summary, I gotta be honest with you, I have to give the GT thumb a thumbs up. I was way more impressed with this hydraulic thumb than what I thought I was gonna be. Uh, it has plenty of strength. The movements are really smooth. It's probably the smoother moving part on the mini excavator right now. And the fitment was really good. So if I needed a hydraulic thumb for my machine and I was searching on my computer right now, I would get the exact same one. No regrets there whatsoever. So I want to make sure that you have that resource. I will be putting that eBay listing in the description. That way you have it. Now, just a little disclaimer here. I'm not affiliated whatsoever with the seller. It's just the one that I went, went through. Um, and you probably noticed in that video, you may have seen a price. I bought this April 3rd, 2025. And um, when you click that link, it may say something completely different. It probably will actually, but I have no control over that. And so I'll just leave that one there. Um, but I want you to have that resource as well as the resource for the, the two fittings that I used, uh, those adapters. That's another one I'm going to put in there too. So um, look for my next video. My next video is going to be actually a dig test with the WH-12R. Obviously we know it can dig, it's made the dig, but the test is how well does this thing dig, uh, you know, for such a cheap machine. So just be looking for that video. But as far as this video goes, that's going to do it for this one. Thank you for watching.